What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part one of the Velociraptor series. Now the Velociraptor is actually, these are two models that are featured by our special friend Dominic Marriott of Credit UK. These are his companies make. These are his sculpts and he has been gracious enough to give us a couple to paint and we're going to be painting them on this channel. So um, shout out to Dominic, some great models here um, for the Velociraptors, um, some, some really sweet poses. You got one who's kind of listening out for something and then you have one who's in full attack mode. You can almost picture Chris Pratt just like trying to hold this guy at bay. So. Before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. So good stuff all around. Let's get started. So starting off here with the uh, crouching, more aggressive one. This is a fun pose. Um, I'm actually going to be going over him with a um, with a base coat of heavy brown. Very thin, very diluted. And after this, I'm actually I'm going to be doing some some gray over the top of this.
So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'll see you when I'm done. All right, now that I have the heavy brown on there for a couple of coats, I'm gonna try and give it kind of an overcoat of heavy gray. Starting off very diluted. I'm hoping to get some of that heavy brown to kind of show through. Coat of the heavy gray, just like I did. I'm sure you're done. All right, so now that the heavy gray is applied, I'm actually gonna give it one more coat. Just in particular areas, and I'm actually going to go over it with a black wash. Um, and As in the upper areas here, I'm going to go over this raptor with a black wash. The primary function of a wash is to dull colors, but also settle into the recesses of a miniature to provide a little added depth. And so washes you don't want to paint on so much as kind of apply them, spread them around a little bit. You don't want to get any unwanted pooling. Belly, and then take a little sepia wash, do the same thing. This is two coats on the opposite side compared to the one coat. So we'll see how it dries. I may go with two, but we'll see. Maybe since uh, I'm imagining the light's coming from this side, might just go with this one coat here. But again, we'll see what it looks like when, when it dries and we'll see you when it dries. All right, so now that the wash is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go back into the Raptor here with a little bit of some heavy gray. This is just to reestablish some of those raised areas.
loosen up some of the brown areas on his face as well. First thing I'm going to do on her eye is I'm going to give it a little base coat of heavy sienna. I want the eye to kind of look like this. I want the eye to look exactly like that. So take that heavy sienna. I'm going to be going over that with a pale yellow. Small and subtle details. And last but not least is going to be the pupil, which is a long slit, kind of just like a, just like a cat's. I'm just going to be going over with a coat of uh, ruddy skin. start applying a mid-tone here so I've got a little dungeon stone mixed in with heavy gray which was my original base coat and it's subtle enough and I'm just gonna be focusing on the upper areas around the spine And all of these little folds as well. So that is the mid-tone there. And I don't think I'm going to touch him again until part three. In part three, I'm going to be <clears throat> taking both raptors and finishing them up simultaneously. Um, I wanted to get this raptor up to mid-tones 
in part one. In part two, I'm going to be doing the same exact thing with the second Raptor. So we're going to be looking at the second Raptor in part two. And then part three, when they're both together, um, I'm going to be finishing them up simultaneously as well as basing them. Um, with Raptor number two, I'm, <clears throat> I might go a little bit more Jurassic World inspiration, um, whereas this one was more um, original trilogy inspiration um, with kind of the the um, more earthen tones. Um, but as always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK, from whom uh, this model actually came from. And also Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.